For our granddaughter Amelia, I'm going to start off with the clothes. Uh, Amelia will be eight years old. By the time Christmas comes, she will have turned eight years old. So this is a two-piece outfit. Um, and I'm thinking I bought it at Belk um, when I was with Ashley over the summer. Anything I get... Um, I try to save for Christmas. So most of these t-shirts though, we found at Target a while back. Uh, so she loves The Nightmare Before Christmas. And then I bought her a Little Miss Sunshine shirt. Some of these uh, uh, she probably won't know. Some of them she will, some of them she'll love. So these are just thin little shirts. Um, they're uh, uh, not meant to last forever, but just something that she can run around in. Uh, I thought this was cool, glittery, but I always like to show you the clothes first, and then I'll show you um, the the fun stuff. What I, I know that the the kids consider the fun stuff anyway. I like this one. Again, really thin material, so just don't expect these to last forever. And then this one was just it's like athletic it was i'm sure i got it on on sale um but uh just it's one of those it's slick material and then a, just a basic cat and jack and i can tell you i know i six bucks um was pretty cheap this is a large uh but i figured she would could wear it to bed or something like that so now for the fun stuff i found this teeny tiny's mini play set in five below and i think it's just adorable the reason i bought it is because i thought this will be perfect for her to use in her barbie house so you have a plate of cookies you have gingerbread people um, you get all these little little people and it looks like there's some paper items in there too but i figured that would be the perfect way for her to decorate um, a little bit in her barbie dream house and then i found this this is a Disney Princess Aqua Beads, and uh, it says just add water. So that is something that she can do at home. That is a project that she and her mom can do, and I think she'll really enjoy that. She's, uh, me is very artistic, so she, she likes doing stuff like that. Uh, this set I bought at Aldi, and it says only at Aldi. It's Imagination Pretend and Play Veterinarian, and I know that uh, all the kids love animals, but I figured Amelia would appreciate this the most. They have x-ray boards. Uh, they have a, a wipe clean activity board, memory cards, there are foam pieces. There's a reversible play scene right here. And so I know that's going to be something that she is going to uh, enjoy quite a bit. Uh, then I also bought her uh, a Disney Villains doll, uh, Maleficent. And uh, it looks like it does. It says the cape opens wide. So you do something to get the cape to open, but you can't do it right now. Oh, this is what she looks like. And then I bought her a game. We bought her, and of course, when I say I, I mean Kevin and I. Kevin and I do all of our Christmas shopping together. So he has ideas, I have ideas. And so when I say I bought, I don't mean I bought, I mean we bought together. Uh, this is a Sorry Sliders game. And I'll try to show you the back of the box. So this looks different than a traditional game of Sorry, which is what I grew up on. I love Sorry. Um, then we got her a Barbie. I thought this was adorable. The This is something that I would like, like right now, <laughs> because it's a travel Barbie. So she has her travel pillow. She has her suitcase, her backpack. She has her eye mask, her face mask, her camera, her cell phone, earphones, um, which nowadays it would be earbuds, but I don't think they make Barbie earbuds. Um, but I thought that was a really cute set, and it came comes with a Barbie. And so then we actually bought her a Barbie set. Uh, this uh, this is a uh, says Barbie, you can be anything, and this um, is a clinic. It's a fast cast clinic, 
and uh, I thought that was just the cutest thing that you have you have crutches they even have a balloon in there uh, a bear they have all the things they have the cast a small cast a larger cast and then they have the dough uh, and I'm guessing you're you're uh, uh, making uh, making your own cast uh, for a different Barbie leg or something out of that dough. So like if you have a Kelly doll, I'm assuming you'd be able to make a cast for that Kelly doll. Uh, there's Kelly right there on the bed. And so, uh, yeah, you can see you put the, uh, this is the mold and you put the, the dough in the mold. And so the actual cast part is just that, that dough. And if you leave it on there, it should harden. Uh, but she'll, she'll enjoy playing with that. And then we bought uh, some Lego stuff. The rest of this actually is Lego stuff for Amelia. Uh, we bought her this Barbie friend set. It's Olivia's electric car. It has 183 pieces. And you will notice um, a bunch of these sets are friend sets, but the next one I'm going to show you is actually a Disney set. So this one has 183 pieces. And then this one is the only Disney set we got. This is a Disney Princess Belle and Rapunzel's Royal Stables. And it is 239 pieces. And I guess I should show the back. So there's the back of this one. And then I'll show you the back of this one. This is the front. And then there's, there's the car. And that car is pretty cool looking. Love the colors of the car. And then we bought her another Lego friend set. This one has 380 pieces, and it is called Beach Glamping. And I like how they have the surfboard. And this is how that looks. So, uh, ha, ha look, they even have a, the little port the potty. Ha, <laughs> ha, that's funny. Okay, and then uh, we bought her. This is a larger set. So this is Lego Friends. This is the Friendship Treehouse. It has 1,114 pieces. And so I would think that her dad will be helping her put this together because Andrew loves putting Legos together. I don't think you ever get too old to enjoy Lego. And it's something that, um, that Andrew has always been into. Um, you know, kids are into different things, and he his thing has always been Lego, which I don't see anything wrong with. So, I'm sure he'll help her. Looks like you can change the face on this one. Um, but I'm sure he will help her. And then, another big set. Uh, we bought this one. This is... Andrea's Theater School, and it has 1,154 pieces, and it looks like there's a, that reminds me of the, uh, the, the, uh, hat from Hogwarts, the sorting hat, and this is what it looks like on the back, and then the last two things we got for her, they're, they're kind of both the same thing, so I can show them both at one time, really. These are two, uh, they're, they're storage heads. They're large storage heads, though. So what you have all those uh, little Lego pieces, and uh, you need to have somewhere to store them. And th these things are great storage containers. So all those little bitty pieces so they're not all over the room or you're not stepping on them or whatever uh th these are great and so uh you'll see these again if you watch the video um if you watch where i show gavin stuff that we bought him because i bought when i saw these i bought uh, two of each i bought uh, two skeletons and two pumpkins and we had bought some a couple years ago for gavin but they're smaller so they make smaller sizes um I don't know not that size, but they do make smaller sizes. So he has smaller ones. So these are the large version of those. Our granddaughter Evie is four years old and I'm going to start with the clothes uh, for her too. I did not, just so you know, I do not pick up equal number of clothes. Like if I get Amelia 10 shirts, I probably didn't get Evie 10 shirts or I might get Evie more shirts or less shirts. I don't keep track. I just get what I can get and what I think is cute. I don't try to get an equal amount, but I did get her a two-piece outfit like I got Amelia 
and I thought that was really cute. And of course, if I buy anything that's too big or too small, they can swap clothes. They can always switch and, and do whatever works for them because I, I could have got some sizes wrong for sure. So this is a Squishmallow t-shirt. I thought that was adorable. One with just some hearts some flowers i like this cat and jack brand that's at uh, target and i just think it's a really nice brand and and there are thicker shirts there's thinner shirts uh but they're just good running around uh the yard shirts she'll like this bluey um then we have a pokemon uh, she probably won't care anything about that but she, you know because she's young and then she her favorite thing in the world is bunnies she loves bunny rabbits so i had to get this with the bunny rabbits and then lastly i got her this one with a dinosaur and then uh we also we found these um they sell these are um I don't even know what you would call them. They're movie character boxes. They look like a VH1, uh, or VHS, sorry, not VH1. <laughs> they look like VHS movie boxes. And they're really cool, and they have tons of these. So, we first saw them in the uh, toy department in one store, and then we've been in other stores, and they've actually had these in the electronics department, and they've had adult movies. Like, I've seen one of these of Lord of the Rings or something. And what it is, is you get one movie character, uh, a movie character from whatever's on the front inside. And uh, so this one is going to have one of these characters. I'm assuming it, it might have him. I don't know. I'm not sure who they'll have in there. But I bought a Little Mermaid, a Cinderella, and an Aladdin. And they there would have been a time where I would have like tried to col uh, collect every one of these. I'm glad I didn't because like I said, we've seen not only kids movies but adult movies. It would have been a, a lot. And I'm I'm thinking these weren't cheap. I'm wanting to say I'm wanting to say they were like $8 a piece if I remember correctly, but th these three will be plenty and she'll be very happy with them. Um we bought her this My Little Pony. Um, it is, it's a st Sunny Star Scout. Uh, Sparkle Reveal Lantern. Uh, it's a lantern. It's, it's supposed to do something. You turn it on. You turn on the lantern and it's going to do something. Ah, there we go. I haven't fooled with it much. I just figured it would be something that she would like. Now I have to make that light go off. I'll probably have to give this to Kevin so he can turn the light off. But these balls come out the front. Um, I don't know how you get the light to go off. But there's there's different buttons. So she's just going to have to push the different buttons and figure out what it does. I'll have to give that to Kevin so I won't run the battery down on that. And then we bought her this Frozen uh, set. I showed this during a vlog when we found it. Um, we found it, I want to say, in Meyer, And I thought it was really expensive. Um... That light went out. Oh, that's good. The light went out on that, so I guess it goes off after a certain time. Um, it seems like this was like $21 or something for this little bitty set. And um, that's very expensive. Uh, but she likes Frozen. And I knew that she would like it, so we got it for her. But it's Elsa's Ice Palace. And it looks like... Uh, it. Oh, it's a carrot. You can carry it around. Ah, Okay. I didn't even notice that. Yes, there's a little handle on there for little hands. Okay, then I got her... I have a bunch of these sets. So, she likes little people to carry around and to play with. And so, this is a Nightmare Before Christmas set. And then we got her a Disney Dorables set. And you, there's a surprise in here. So, we don't know who's going to be behind that door. And then I bought her a Minnie Mouse set. And Mickey. And then Stitch. And so those are just something little for her to play with. And then we, I've, I have never bought, um, I've never bought them Calico Critters before. I've always bought the off-brand, like, um, not the ones at Target, but they have some at Walmart. If you watch the vlogs, I've shown them before. And the the people are fine of the ones they sell at Walmart. 
but it's the houses. The houses are cheap, and so I wouldn't buy those again. I forget. I don't know what they're called, but so I bought these calico critters, uh, and I'm hoping that she'll. I'm, I'm sure she'll love them. And they show bunny rabbits and stuff like that in here. I don't know what you get. You probably only get that one character, uh, but it is a bunny. So she will be crazy about this. So uh, this is called Lakeside Lodge gift set. So we bought her that one. And then we also bought her, this one is the, uh, it says Sweet Raspberry Home gift set. And you get three animals in here. And one of them, once again, is a bunny. You get a bunny rabbit. And you, you get all these things on the inside. So I think you get quite a few uh, little items. And that's what it looks like. It's very basic looking. But then um, we bought her a larger set. I love this. Um, this is, um, it's called Calico Critters Town Elegant Town Manor gift set. And it is a larger set try to show it to you this is larger and I love the color I love that purple color I think that's so pretty and then on the back you can see this is what it uh, what it looks like on the back and the good thing about it is is because we bought her because we bought her so many of those from Walmart she will just put add those to this and so she's going to have a ton of uh characters to have with this so she will mix those characters with the calico critters i know some uh, kids probably wouldn't do that. Some kids would probably be purists and they would be like, oh, I want to keep, keep the calico critters with that set and the other ones with the other set. She won't be like that. She'll put everything together. And then lastly, this one's huge. So hopefully I can get it all. There we go. I have to move the camera back in order to be able to get that on camera. This is the Grand Department Store gift set. And when we saw that, I thought, I have to get that uh, because it's huge. I love the colors. Um, let me turn it on the back here. So there's, there's lots of different, uh, like you can go into the clothing store and then there's one for purses. It looks like there's one for beauty. And so there's all different ones. And the good thing about this stuff and what we got Amelia too is that they will they'll play with each other's things so evie will go in amelia's room amelia will go in evie's room and so they can share all of the stuff uh, so that is everything we got for evie for our grandson gavin he is 10 years old uh, i'm going to start off with his clothes as well uh, he is crazy about kirby so we got him this kirby shirt and then there's another one i think there's one on the very bottom of the stack too so we've got him this Kirby shirt, and he likes skateboarding, so we got him one with the skateboards on the sides. And then this one says, A Grateful Dead, and I'm wondering if that wasn't out for Halloween, but he'll like it. He'll think that's cool. Poppy Playtime, he introduced me to Poppy Playtime, which is quite freaky, but uh, he likes it. Uh, Super Mario Brothers. Uh, then this one was just, we thought that was really cool. Um, that's a Cat and Jack shirt from Target. And then this Minecraft shirt. Uh, Minecraft will always be popular, I think. And then the last one is that Kirby shirt I was telling you about. Uh, we did get him one other shirt, but I've got him kind of like a little theme box going. And so I'll show you that when we get to that, that theme stuff. So there's the clothes. And so I showed you... Um, and when I showed you Amelia stuff, I told you we bought, uh, we bought four of these. We bought two of the skeletons, two of the pumpkins, and these are Lego heads that you store your Lego pieces in. And, uh, so Gavin, Gavin is the main le Lego collector, but we, so we bought him two of these. And if you're wondering about Evie, she still is too 
little for that stuff. I mean, she could play with them, of course, but I mean, it's not like she's going to eat them or anything, but she's just not into those yet, but she'll get there. Trust me. Um, then we bought him this Minecraft Lego set. This is just a small set. It's only 254 pieces. And then this Lego set, we did not get him a lot of Lego this year. So this Lego set is the Crystal King and it has 722 pieces, but you do get some cool men. And those are the only Lego sets that we got for him. So we, we just did not get him a bunch of Lego sets this time. Uh, but uh, we bought him this game. Uh, this game is called Meltdown and it says two or more players and uh, that reminds me of a face he's made before and it looks like a balancing game so it looks pretty cool pretty easy and then this one is called dumpster diver and it says take his snacks before he attacks and so it is a game where i figure he could play this with his sisters that they could all play together the three of them and then i got him a monopoly game this is black panther Wakanda forever so we got him that one and these are the this is what the board looks like and then I got I actually got him another Monopoly game I got him a Star Wars Boba Fett Monopoly game and so that is what that looks like on the back so who have a good collection of games I did give him a Minecraft book uh, this one is Minecraft Amazing Bite Size Builds, and uh, there's just all kinds of pictures in here. I'm thinking I found this at Target. I'm not sure. I'm thinking I'm thinking Target's where I found that. And then we bought him this uh, Sharper Image. This is a laser tag set, and he and his sister will love this. He and Amelia will absolutely love playing with this in the house, out of the house. Um, I can see them chasing each other around playing that. They're going to have a, a blast with that. And then um, we got him some, he's been playing Fortnite, Kevin said. So we bought him some Fortnite characters. Uh, we actually bought him three of these. Uh, there's one more here. Oh, this one was only at Target. So that's what those look like. And then we did buy him a mini set of Fortnite figures. And I'll show you, it goes with something else. So these figures, I think, will go well with this, uh, this bus. And this bus, it... Uh, and it comes with a figure. So that's, that was pretty cool. Uh, but but those smaller figures that we got that'll that'll go well with the Fortnite. And then we're gonna scoot down a little bit here on the table because uh, we bought him. I told you I'd show you another uh, piece of clothing. We bought him this uh, Stranger Things shirt. I had already bought him one Stranger Things shirt for his birthday. So uh, this one I saw it and I thought I have to get that. It's too big. It's an adult small. However, he can wear it to bed. He can save it. He can do what he wants with it. I just thought it was really cool. But we could kind of got him like a Stranger Things um, theme box going on. And so this is lip gloss, which he won't use the lip gloss, but I think he'll think that's cool. Surfer Boy Pizza. Uh, that was something I saw in the stocking stuffers at Walmart. And then these are a poster collage, it says. And I think they're just uh, stickers. And we found these at Five Below, and I don't know what people do with them. It looks like they have them hanging on a wall, um, and I guess if they're this size, it says 12 posters, you could hang them on, hang them on, and decorate your wall. Uh, then we got him uh, Stranger Things Mad Libs, and I think I found that at World Market. And then I bought him two Stranger Things books. And so, one of them is Choose Your Own Adventure and Heroes and Monsters. And then the other one is uh, Suspicious Minds. So, we'll see how he likes those. He's a good reader. And then, 
This one I found at World Market, I'm pretty sure. It's a Stranger Things a, um, notebook. And it has the different characters. I think this Dustin, that's his favorite character is Dustin. Will. And there's Mike. And then there's Eleven. So, it, um, I think he'll enjoy that. And then I bought him another. Uh, this is the official notebook. And it's a hardback book. And I don't want to take the thing off the front, but that's what it looks like. And it's a hardback book. And then it has demons on it. But then it's graph paper. But I thought that was pretty cool. He'll like that. And then we got him the fridge magnets because Christina will let him put uh, use these fridge magnets and they'll all, the whole family will enjoy those. And then these are gadget decals and I know I found those at World Market and uh, Kevin thought those would be good because he has his own cell phone and um, by the time he uh, gets this stuff for Christmas, I think um, his mom and dad plan on giving him a computer for Christmas. That's going to be his big gift from them as a computer. So he could put these on there, although they probably won't want him to put those on a new computer. I don't know. Um, and then um, these are posters. So uh, these I found at Five Below, both of these. And there's, um, I'll show you the back. There's different posters in each one. And he has a, 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 a good size bedroom. So he has plenty of wall space for these things. And then this is in a big box and um, it is a demigorgon. So he loves the demigorgon on Stranger Things. And I can open it, but I, you really can't see what it is because it's down in here. It's in plastic. And it's, it's huge. It's huge characters. They're in plastic. And so, there's no good way. It's like three different. It's like three different, or four. It's four. One, two, three, four different things in one in this box. And so, I, I can't really show you very well. Um, but, he'll love that. And then, the last thing we got for him... I think this, as far as I can move my camera, let me show you. There we go. Okay, this is a refrigerator. <laughs> um, Kevin and I were not looking for this at all, um, but he's going to love this gift. This is a Minecraft uh, charged creeper mini fridge, and it has LED lighting. And this is what it looks like. It has like two different sections that opens up and it looks like you can store four. At the, it says holds up to 14 cans. But we thought that would be a cool, this could be, he can keep this in his room and we thought that would be perfect for him. So that is what we got for Gavin this year. So this isn't a Christmas present from Kevin and I. This is uh, one that Andrew and Christina are going to give to Gavin. But I thought uh, you might be interested in seeing it. Gavin's 10 years old and he's wanted a computer for a while. And he uh, they homeschool and so this will be good for him. Not only for games, but he can do homeschool stuff on it too. So that uh, that's the box for his computer. And then over here is the box for the monitor. Uh, but he'll love this.